Meet Coursera and her three favorite children. And by children, I mean data science courses for beginners. If you are one of the many people who would like to learn data science from scratch, but you're overwhelmed by the plethora of online courses available to you, this video is for you. If you're new here and you're wondering what gives me the audacity to tell you how to learn, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Always do your research. Trust no one, even me. Anyways, know that I have over four years of working experience as a data scientist and about four hours scouring through Coursera's course offering to cherry pick my favorite courses and create a highlights reel just for you. For each course that I mentioned today, I'll be providing my thoughts on who should take it, depending on your background and interests in the great big world of data science, a content breakdown, why it stands out to me and why you may be interested to pick it over other courses, and finally, any caveats or disclaimers I'd like to provide on that course. One last thing before we dive in, bear with me. Instead of begging for sponsors like I usually do in these videos, today I am proud that I get to say Shout out to Coursera for partnering up with me and sponsoring this video. Yay! If you're a day one and you also never thought I'd get to this point, but you're happy that I did and you want to celebrate with me, leave me your favorite emoji in the comments. I'll leave mine. That's my impression of it. A little FYI, in case you're not familiar with Coursera's work, they offer self-paced courses, certificates and specializations. Everything they offer is taught by some very impressive academic institution or leading global company. Names like Stanford, Google, IBM. What I personally really like about the platform are the hands-on assignments that every course includes. Once you finish a course, you get a shareable certificate which will help you with the job hunt process. You can brag about the fact that you finished it on LinkedIn or on your resume. And it's also super affordable. They offer financial aid. And what I personally really love is that you can actually audit a lot of the courses, which means you can access all of the lesson material at no cost. If you wanna just check out what the course is like before committing to the paid version, which is the one that gives you the access to the assignments and the shareable certificate. So for me, this was really great because I didn't actually complete any of the courses that I'm talking to you about today. Stay with me. Stay with me because I did audit them. So that allowed me to really dive into the content, see what it was all about. All right, now without further ado, let's learn how to learn. The first option I wanna highlight is the IBM Professional Data Science Certificate. If you want an end-to-end, -end, practical, hands-on, career-ready overview of all components of data science, this is the one that you need to take out of the three that I'm going to highlight today. It's perfect for complete beginners in every way because it's not actually a course, it's a certificate that is composed of 10 different courses. They each take you through an essential piece of knowledge you need to have as a data scientist. So by the time you get to the end of the certificate, you have a really solid baseline of all aspects of the role. Here's what it includes. An intro to data science, what it is and what it means to the world. And this is a really great way to get you in the right headspace before you start learning how to tackle data science problems. I love that this whole specialization goes, or sorry, certificate goes from broad, general, high level, and kind of like narrows it down as we go. Just like shapes your learning process. Shapes, shapes, shapes. Next, it goes into an overview of popular data science tools and how to use them. So this is actually interesting because I never would have thought that this would be important enough to include as the second course in the specialization before actually learning how to do any data science. But after looking at it, I kind of changed my mind and here's why. Data science has a lot of buzzword overload going on. So you got Spark, Hadoop, an R here, a Python there. What is TensorFlow? What is Keras? Even for me as a data scientist who works in the field, I don't use all of these tools. And I can see how for a complete beginner, it can be completely overwhelming and confusing and just kind of scary when all of this is floating around in the industry media. This course teaches you what these tools are, provides you with a sense of relief, and it even gives you a chance to use some of the most common ones. Next, it goes into how to tackle a data science problem. So it's bringing you again, a big picture view of how data scientists think and how they do their work. This course will prepare you to understand why it is you're going to do what you're gonna do. All right, now course four, we get a little more practical. Here we have an intro to Python and programming in general. 100% beginner friendly if you've never written any code. 
So it starts with programming fundamentals like data structures, but then it kind of narrows it down and focuses on the aspects of Python that are relevant for data science and AI. After this, we have your first data science project with Python. So here you're combining everything you learned in the first four courses to complete an actual hands-on project. Course number six, SQL and databases with Python. All right, courses seven, eight, and nine, we go into the practical, how to use Python to complete three major aspects of data science. So first we have data analysis, data visualization, and then machine learning all with Python. And finally, course number 10, capstone, put it all together. And again, special shout out for the way that they did this because it's so practical. They actually pretty closely simulate how a data scientist would tackle a problem at work and what kind of problem they would have and what kind of steps they would need to take to solve it. Why this specialization stands out to me, it's one and done. Everything you need to know is in one place. You take the 10 courses and you have a solid baseline of pretty much everything you need to know as a data scientist. I also like how it covers Git and GitHub in the tools course. This is overlooked in a lot of data science courses and it's such an important part of programming. Most people kind of pick it up at work but it's such a strong asset to have going in to work and, and interviewing for the job. Finally, there's 25% off the first month of promo going on for this course right now. Not why I picked it, but a happy bonus. Caveats for this certificate. So in my previous videos, you've probably heard me mention there are five components of being a data scientist, five things you need to learn. Scripting with a language like Python, uh, databases and SQL, machine learning, stats, and then putting it all together hands-on in a project. This specialization, or sorry, this certificate program covers four out of those five things pretty well. It is kind of lacking on the stats and probability side. So if you're a total beginner to data science and you decide to take the certificate, I would supplement it with some additional uh, stats studying. If you don't wanna take a whole other course for this, you can do it through methods like reading blog posts or checking out YouTube. I have lots of tips on how to learn data science in my other videos. But if you would like a formal intro to stats, I wanna give an honorable mention to a course by University of Michigan on the platform. It didn't make my top three, but it would have been my number four pick. Statistics with Python, the specialization by University of Michigan. And it'll give you a great end-to-end -end coverage of all the stats concepts you need to know for data science and how to use them in Python. Funny we mentioned University of Michigan because moving on to my second pick, the Python for everybody specialization. It's the perfect intro to learning how to code from absolutely zero, even less than zero, negative. If you're scared of learning how to code, this is the course you need to start with. It covers everything you need to know about programming as a total new, starting from the beginning, and then it dives deeper into applications of programming that are super relevant for data science. So breaking the specialization down, it comes with four courses. Again, this is not a single course, it's a series of courses. The first course is an intro to programming. It's a high level view of what programming is, what is code, how does code make computers and computer programs work. This is something that I think is missing in a lot of introductory computer science courses at a university level, at least the ones that I've personally taken. I had a really hard time getting started with computer science because I didn't understand the big picture going in. I just didn't get it. So I really, really love how this specialization starts by telling you, hey, this is what a computer actually is and this is how it works and this is the role that code has to play in this. So after you kind of get an idea of some of the basics behind it, you go into the next course, which is on data structures. Data structures are the different types of boxes or packages that you can put data in within a computer program. This sounds like something specific to data science, but it's not every programmer, every computer scientist has to use data structures. Code will just not work without them. Next up, the third course, super relevant for a data scientist. So it's all about databases and extracting data from the web. We're moving from theory and base knowledge into application, again, down that funnel. Finally, fourth course, capstone project, putting it all together. And the capstone happens to be about data processing and visualization, which again, so relevant for data science, even though this isn't a data science specific specialization. This is actually one of the reasons it stands out to me. It's not specific for data science, but it kind of has the perfect storm of ingredients to make it the perfect first step for an aspiring data scientist who has no experience writing code. Python as a language is perfectly suited for data science because it has all of the tools that make working with data really easy. So learning Python is actually in itself a huge part of learning data science. And when I think about it practically, it's the most optimal place to start. Being a strong programmer, 
is fundamental for being a strong data scientist. So if you rush through the learning how to code part of data science, it will hurt you later down the line. It'll show up in technical interviews. I would start here personally. If I had no programming knowledge and I wanted to go into data science, this is where I would start. So caveats for this course. As I mentioned just now, this specialization is amazing to teach you how to program in Python for data science applications, but if you want to learn how to be a data scientist, there is more learning you have to do in addition to this course. It certainly does not cover all aspects that you need to know for data science, especially on the mathy side, machine learning and statistics, which you can learn with my next recommendation, machine learning by Stanford University. <music> This is another one I'm obsessed with. If you've watched my other videos, you've definitely heard me recommend this course before. It is hands down the most well-respected, well-known course in the industry. Pretty much every data science practitioner will know of this course. Take this one if you have at least somewhat of a technical background or aptitude. So maybe you studied something like math, computer science, engineering, or something related. Maybe you just finished the Python for everybody specialization I just talked about. And then having that aptitude and taking this course, you will be able to truly understand what's going on under the hood of machine learning at a deep level. So if you want to feel confident in the base knowledge that every data scientist should have, this is the one you should take. This course is actually just one course. It's not a specialization, it's not a certificate. It gives you a proper thorough overview of all parts of machine learning, including the math behind it. I'm not gonna list out everything, the entire syllabus, what it includes, but I can leave it for you on the screen. Why it stands out to me, taking this course will set you up to learn data science because it takes you through the base knowledge that a lot of people who are learning data science actually skip out on. It brings you an understanding of a lot of our data science work that is abstracted by Python libraries. And why do you need to know what's going on under the hood? Well, because if you have a complex situation going on at your job as a data scientist, which you will have in every project, there's gonna be something unusual, something that wasn't covered in your courses. And if you come across a complex situation with your machine learning project, you need to know how to deal with it. And to know how to deal with it, you need to understand what's going on. If you don't build this base knowledge, you'll never get past a basic understanding. You have to have something beyond a basic understanding to be that superstar data scientist that I know you wanna be and that I know you can be. And this course is a great way to set that foundation. In addition to the well-presented and easily digestible machine learning theory that this course covers, it's also super practical in terms of exposing you to basically every kind of machine learning concept that you will run into. Another really great part of this course and one that a lot of students really appreciate too is that it focuses on machine learning at its core. It doesn't focus on the specific tools, specific environments, you know, the surface level stuff. It focuses on the true art and craft of machine learning. Caveats for this one. It is a bit less practical than the other two options that I mentioned. It leans a bit more towards the theoretical side. So if you wanna come out of your Coursera experience being job ready, then you'll have a bit more studying to do. Notably, Python is not a part of this course and you definitely need to know Python as a data scientist, at least R or something. R is also not part of this course. Other caveat is if you don't have a strong foundation of math knowledge and if you're not comfortable working with math and equations and algebra, then this one will be a bit tricky for you. It is marked as a course for all levels, but out of the ones I mentioned today, this one's probably the least friendly for 100% data science beginners who are coming from a totally different field and have no kind of technical background. All right, that is it. As always, everything I mentioned, all the courses will be linked in the description below. The best way to pick a course is to read the reviews, do your research, understand what it is that you're trying to learn and then find the course that best suits your specific needs. Read the reviews, read the reviews, read the reviews. Those are your friends in there telling you what you need to know, read them. If you have any questions on this topic, leave them in the comments for me and I will answer them. Also in the comments, let me know what you wanna see next. If you feel some type of way, feel strongly about that, let me know, I wanna hear it. That's all for me. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.